thinking about it. I gotta figure out how Go to get for over. it, pal. I'm gonna get you on camera. It's over there. Breaking the rules right there. Break the fence. Oh, that's a vinyl fence. That's a vinyl fence, folks. Ooh. All right, so I got a grasshopper on. A little fall fishing. So that's what we're going for right now. Spot to go to is not much of a hole. So we're gonna go, we're gonna keep working our way up until we get to the hole. This is just we're going to a hole, folks. We're on our way. He says, like, oh yeah, we gotta go to a hole. We're trying to get up to the hole. We're working our way up there. That's what she said. This is the guy, he's got like 20 years of fly fishing experience. And we're like, well, how long is it gonna take you to catch a fish? And he's like, oh, I could do this in 10 minutes. So we're, he's already up to like five, folks. Don't lie about You're it, pal. It would have been five minutes? Easily. Come on. Okay, well, he's only got 10 minutes, and yeah, if he doesn't get it. Oh, he's on to something! Oh, you see that fish ride? Yeah, he had one! Oh, I thought I had one. Yeah, he had one. I saw the fish come up. He's seriously down to like two minutes. Two minutes. I think he's past the 10, but <laughs> I'll give him another two minutes. So he's saying that he needs to put on some sort of a dropper because he didn't get the 10 minute limit. I'm gonna use 4X, the 5X I had. I used it on my last trip and I don't have any more. Last time I was here, I used a zebra, knit, a zebra midge. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, there's one right there. You call it a zebra midge? A zebra. Zebra midge, but really it's zebra. Okay, so he's got two flies on one liter, right? One's gonna sink down and one is gonna float on the top. Yeah, so yeah. his honey hole, he's like, that hole's money, that fishing hole's money. Right here, he struck out on her and he's, this is, this is his words exactly. See that hole up above that tree right there? I think they're gonna be over there. So he totally struck out. He's way over his 10 minute limit. He's like a politician. And he is like a politician. That's a good point. He keeps moving the goalposts. <laughs> He's like, oh, maybe a little further, maybe a little further, a little further. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. <laughs> fishing and not catching, I don't know about that. Get down there and get it. Is that worth a $4 fly? Absolutely it is. Are you get in there. In? There's probably $2. Take your pants off. There's probably $2 worth of flies in there or $4 worth of flies in there, yeah. Oh, he's getting in? No, that's so lame. I can't You're get supposed off. to go down the branch. Yeah, that's no fun. We wanted to watch the branch break. Go there for a second. Connor. I got yeah. some fresh crap over here. It's what? fresh. What is it? Well, I'm, it's poo. He calls me over. He's like, hey, Chuck, come check this out. And I'm like, what is it? Poo. I don't care about poo. Get out of here. So this guy, he's keep trying to get away from us. Oh, he got one. He got one. He got one. Got him on the dropper. There we go. But I'm stepping mad at you. Oh, don't step on my rod. He keeps saying, don't step on my rod. Don't step on my rod. That's all he seems to care about is his stinking rod. Brown trout, baby. He broke the 20 minute not, rule. I think he was likely. hit about 35 minutes. Stop getting in front of the fly fisherman. Stop getting in front of the fly fisherman. Like he thinks, like he legit thinks that if we go above the fly fisherman, that it's gonna scare the fish. They could fly away or something like that. Ah, caught a tree. That was a rookie, rookie move. He's going like this, thinking he's all cool. I got this, I got this. He gets him caught in the tree yeah, or the bush. Your hat's next. No! <laughs> I'm in charge of this operation, not you. So we missed it, but the guy on the right, the fly fisherman, look at it. He's got the he's got the rod in his hand. And he told the other guy that he was gonna let him fish. This is all you, all you. And then all of a sudden the rod's back in his hand. Over to the shore. How many now. years does it take? It doesn't take that long, honestly. Like like three years or no. So the boy would be able to figure this out oh, pretty easily? Quick. Way before you. Why? Because that's just how little kids are. They just figure stuff out. He got one. He had one. He had one. I saw it. I saw the strike. He striked. He striked. So, pal, do you have a license? I bought one, one. Uh, yesterday. Ah, is it a three day? It's a three day. I paid 16 bucks for that thing. $16 for a three yeah. day. Hey, get his rat tail. 16 bucks. Get his rat tail. <laughs> 
right there. <laughs> now that, folks, is what it's all about. And he's like, well, I'm gonna cut it off. I'm like, no, you embrace that, you keep it. It's like a nice flowing um, rat tail on the back. So he said there's something we're checking out over here and you know, i not fishing or catching. So I'm just gonna come over here and see what, what the deal is. So check this out. This is what he drags me back here for. To look at that, that thing is disgusting. I don't wanna look at that piece of crap. So upon closer examination, so originally, <laughs> no. Oh. Are you gonna throw up? No. Holy moly, good. Oh my gosh, folks. That was about of craziness right there. This is what he brings me back here for. He's like, hey, come check this out. Come check this out. That is disgusting. And it's really stinky. It's fresh. That's fresh. Uh, we did think it was, so up upon further examination. So walking up on this sucker, we thought it was a wild boar. And we're like, oh. Oh, we thought it was a wild boar. So we come up on this guy and it's really stinky. And I'm like, oh, that's a wild boar there. And upon further examination, she looks like a bear. And uh, the hide's been freshly removed. So is the head, the head's gone. And if you stand right there, you almost throw up. Yeah, it's so you stand freaking right gross. Over there, the wind blows right into your, into your mouth. It makes you want to throw yeah, up. Yeah, do not do not stand over there. But look at the, look at his feet, okay? See that? It's really, really disgusting. But it looks like a bear, it's feet. And the hide is gone, head, hide gone. Oh. Completely skinned it. Oh. You know, they even took the claws off. The, the claws are gone. Claws are removed, the hide is removed. And we don't know if it's a bear or, or what it is, but. It's for sure a bear. It definitely does look like a bear, it's feet look like a bear. It's a poacher. Probably a poacher. So, someone might have killed it and then dumped it. But look, look, so we're right here. Now look over there, you can see a house right there. Highways right there. And just somebody, some sorry soul, is like, oh yeah, let's just throw a bear right there. Idiot. So that, that was worth the drive out here. Six hours, folks. Roughly six hours I've been in the car driving and I get this as the surprise treat for the day. So we made it to camp. This joker over here is like, yeah, I need to start to jangle and make some food or something. I did what? I need to start to jangle and you over here. So here's the secret to doing charcoal really fast. You get your charcoal chimney, you put the charcoal in there like normal, and then you just put the burner on it like that. That's like 10 seconds. And then within about like, seriously, five minutes, they're all going. Not 25, not 50, not 40. You just put it on there and they're going really fast. That's what I call a pro tip. Damn near done. It's like four minutes. Look at that. Ooh, look at those colors. First of all, you got way too many coals on the bottom, dude. How do you know so much about cooking stuff? Did you look on the internet or something? Yeah, looked on the inner screen. Like several years ago. The interscreen? The interweb. Yeah. Interscreen, that's a new one. <laughs> You've never heard of that one. You've never heard about the interscreen. <laughs> no, that's not new. That's not new to my channel. You haven't been watching. Oh, I've never heard about the interscreen. <laughs> yeah, the interscreen. This cat, he's like, hey, I know what we should do. Screw the tent, and he wants to sleep in there. He wants to put a tarp over the top and shut the door. And I'm like, I'll do whatever he says. So I'm not in charge. He's right in charge. There. I don't want to be in charge of anything. Who Can I be in charge of the food? Yeah. Container. Ah, no, ah, no. What do you want you me to do You gotta crisp up the bacon first, pal. Okay. What do you think this is? I don't want to mix up. <laughs> do you scared to just grab the, the handle? I don't, know if, I don't know if it was hot. It's not hot, everybody. <laughs> The handle's not hot. I have one of these, I've never opened <laughs> the box. Is, uh... I own one of these and I've never opened the box. He doesn't want to open the box because he's too scared to use it. You want crispy bacon? You put bacon? the bacon on at the end. 
So it doesn't oh, so turn. you want to cook the bacon? So and then put yeah. the bacon on later on? Yes. <laughs> so it's crispy. Okay. Like seriously, these guys do not know how to cook. This guy especially doesn't know how to cook. He's like, oh, I just like soft, nasty bacon. Yeah, well, we're camping. So? Connor, we're not professional campers like you are. I am professional. So is this a fun camping so trip? So far, it's a fun camping trip. He said it's fun, guys. So far. <laughs> so we gotta get the fire lit. So. I'm ready. I'm ready He's right like, he, look, how, look how ready he is. He's like, he was born ready. Okay, so just gotta describe what you're doing. I might doing. get gas on my hands. Don't so you gotta run, run the, the lighter. I'm not running the lighter. You're running the lighter. I am not running the lighter. <laughs> there we go, folks. You see that? Do it. Don't do it. Hit it. Gotta get far Hit away. Oh, yeah. He thinks that he knows how to do this, and well, I do. And he, we're not doing it his I way. I'll tell you that much. We're not doing it. I his got it way. from my house. Yeah, right. You did not get this from your house. I got, I got it from Walmart. Walmart. No, you did. You yeah, did not get this from your house. So put the rice in. Should I get it from the top or the bottom? Just put it in there. Look at that, folks. You see that? That's like rice in a pot. We're gonna need some uh, water. You put two cups of rice in? Yeah. Oh. So we gotta put four, uh, six cups? Uh, no. Or four. Four, One. if not. Oh, I know, a cup of Mountain Dew. A bottle of Mountain Dew. There's two cups. Should we do three cups of water and a Mountain Dew? Dude, this is gonna be the best stuff ever, Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. And burn it out. That's gonna be good. Whoa! Yeah, you're right. You can't just burn it out. Oh, heck yeah! Oh, heck yeah! So that's pretty well, we're well what we're gonna go with. We've got charcoals on the top charcoals on the bottom and then we just need to turn rotate turn rotate we had a really rough start to the camping trip yeah no kidding first fire the first spot and then where'd we go somewhere like hannah went to hannah after that yeah and then we went fishing in hannah we we fishing. and that's when we saw the bear yeah that's where we saw the oh the look at that look at that you kidding me look at this over here guys Someone has been here before. Look, 1996. 1996. And that's Pedro, okay? So Pedro's been here in 1996. That tells you something, that someone else has been here before us. All right, so this is it. It's uh, called a Dutch oven chicken, lemon, chicken, rosemary. So it's got rosemary, lemon, Chicken, bacon, rice, something else. And a count of Mountain Dew. No salt. No salt, so it's pretty bland, you know what I mean? It's really good, except for it's just lacking salt. So we're pretty well done with dinner, and that's gonna pretty well do it for this night. We might be able to get some <laughs> party going on in the morning, like in the back, and then a business in the front. So we're heading down the mountain. Pretty rough terrain through here. Got my trailer here and my ATVs in the back of my truck and in the trailer. We had an awesome time and this place is freaking sweet. It's up near Heber, Utah, up in the mountains. I don't know how high up we are, but we're pretty high up. Lots of evergreen trees and these quaking aspen trees that have all turned this golden color, starting to all lose their leaves. So I appreciate you guys. I wanna thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, please do so. And that will do it for this video. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.